Since we're kind of running out of time, before we get back on the road, we decided we're gonna come up here every night after work to try to get done as much as possible. Hi, I'm Allie, and this is my husband, Justin. After coming home to get our van into better shape, we are finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It worked! With just a few things left on our to-do list, we dive into our electricity as we swap out a B2B charger and gain another 220 amp hours of battery. So tonight, the game plan is the new B2B charger. All right, let's see if it fits. It's pretty big. Oh, geez. I gotta clean this stuff out, I guess. Doesn't fit. All right, we're gonna get this thing cleaned out in one, two, three. All right, I kinda gotta finagle it because I haven't taken the solenoid out yet. It fits. And if it fits, it ships. Or in this case, drives. So this is the guy that we would use, that we were using to charge our house batteries while we drove. Literally all it did, one terminal connected to the car battery, one terminal connected to the house battery, and we flipped an on off switch, and if the switch was on, then it connected these. And so it just basically added our car battery into a series with our house battery. But we're replacing it with a fancy smart charger. And it's super smart. Once upon a time, there was a young couple living in a recently converted camper van and they were doing some minor renovations and the husband said oh I've done electricity and plumbing before I can do it again and everything didn't work out and it took days Anyways, catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So today we came up with a new game plan for how we're going to install that B2B charger. The problem we are running into is the old solenoid only needed a positive cable, not a negative cable. So we had to figure out how to run a negative cable. So we had some leftover number two cable from our build. It just doesn't have any lugs on the end of it. So I found a store that sells the lugs and a crimper tool. So I'm gonna go get those. That way I can get this all put together to get that installed. Fun fact, also found out you can recycle these old lead acid batteries for money. So my dad found a place that will pay us 18 cents a pound for these two batteries. And they weigh like 145 pounds each. So pretty cool deal. First things first, we're going to see if we can recycle these batteries for a little bit of cash money. All right, some super cool folks over here. Got an extra 54 bucks for those batteries, so that's dope. Now we continue. Oh, super long drive later, and now we are going to get some cable lugs. Ah, I got the goods. So now that we got those errands taken care of, Got to get the seat back out, and we'll get going. I was gonna clean it up in here, but honestly, I can't, it just seems like unnecessary work. Ah, I feel like you need to. I'll go get the vacuum. So before I put the charger in, I'm gonna cut a hole in the box under the seat to add a computer fan, just to make a little bit of extra ventilation. Since it's such a small space, I don't want it to overheat. Plus there's something under the driver's seat that gets so hot and it drives me nuts because it literally gets makes the whole driver's seat hot. Like I'll be sweating and then I'll touch my seat and my seat is like 100 degrees. It's horrible. Hopefully the fan will help with that too. So here's the new fan. That's where it's gonna go. I'm just gonna cut that square out. Here. So it's been a minute, but 
Justin got a fan installed underneath the seat. Ooh, ah, good job, baby. So hopefully that will keep my butt warmer officially turned off. So now we can actually start installing the charger. Wow. Now that it's dark out. It's about time. <laughs> the horror continues. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, we are calling it a night early oh, because kind we're of. It's hungry. Like nine o'clock. Oh, you're sweaty. So we'll catch you guys up tomorrow. It is a new day and we're gonna get a lot of stuff done today because we're starting a little bit earlier. And by a little, I mean a lot. So first things first on my agenda is to remake this little foam thing that kind of keeps dust out of underneath Justin's chair. We're trying to keep out as much dust as possible to avoid any errors with our B2B charger. So it should be pretty simple. Let's go make it again. Oh, and did I mention Justin broke it off because he got really mad and he was really hot? Yeah. <laughs> That's my man. So we actually found some of our XPS that we used to insulate our floor. So I'm gonna just use that since the original cover for the bottom of the seat is foam anyways. Got it cut out, let's see if it fits. Voila, look at that, it's gonna be perfect. Woohoo! So we're finally actually installing the charger now. So to install the charger, it's different from the solenoid we had in the van because we have to have a negative cable connecting the charger to the battery, the car battery, versus that solenoid, we didn't need that. So I had some leftover number two cable from when we did all the wire runs for the batteries in the back. So luckily, I have more than enough left over, so I just have to crimp on some lugs on the ends of these guys with that tool I bought yesterday, and then we will be able to run this, and hopefully it'll be quick, easy, We'll have the charger in within the hour. Woo! Finally! Yeah. <laughs> Step one, strip the wire. Cables stick out so far. Alright. It's been a bit of a battle to get to this point, but I'm finally about to actually mount the charger. That's from the car battery, that's going to the house batteries, and then down there, there's a little cable that goes to the power box for the ignition, and a little cable that goes around here for current limiting for the uh, car battery. So now I've just got to get this whole thing mounted, which I already drilled the holes, I've got my bolts. So hopefully we can knock this out here soon. Finally, three days later. Let's see how she feels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we did it. Or you did it. Thank you, baby. It's finally mounted. Woo! Wait. Thank goodness. Let's see if it works before I put everything back together. It works! I made a huge breakfast hoping that that would hold us over for a while, but I'm already pretty hungry, so lunch break. We just got back from lunch and feeling refueled. Since Justin's the primary plumber and electrician, I feel like I'm kind of just sitting around. So instead of sitting around, I'm going to go ahead and deep clean our van. That means cleaning the fans and all sorts of stuff. So let's start with the fans. Ew. 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 Justin got the B2B charger put in. Next, we're going to install another 220 amp hour battery. So we have a total of 440 amp hours. This is kind of exciting for us because this is what we thought we started out with, but we didn't end up starting out with that because they were old, worn out batteries. So we're just excited to see how much better it'll be. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll get us through the night with our fridge and in the winter, have the heater on as well. Oh, do we need to take, take that table off? 
false alarm. <laughs> Forgot a minor detail putting the battery back in. You have to take that board off, otherwise the battery doesn't fit in the hole. All right, take two. Do I need to take the table off? Maybe, yeah. I guess, take three. We need to take the table off. Take four. Hey wow, that was really hard. Ooh. I'm just exhausted. Me too. Oh boy. Now to figure out how I had all these cables in here. Okay, so we go here to the fuse, to battery A, to battery A, to battery B. Battery B, battery B to battery A. I think it's gonna work. Where are batteries at? Batteries are at 13.1 and charging because we're plugged into shore power. Well, we did it. It only took us a week of working, but we got the charger in, got the batteries in. I think we're on the up and up because we got a lot more work done this week than last week. Yeah, so. Just a few more big projects coming up. We've got the finishing the water and we've got installing a new drive shaft. And then I think we're road ready. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a giant thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button because we upload new videos every single week. We'll see you then. Bye. Doing some small renovations in their recently built camper van. And the husband said, Oh, you scared me. I'm telling a horror story and you scared the poop out of me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the scary one. <laughs> I need you to hold your fingers inside of this thing while I hammer it. That's not even going in the bloopers. Take one. Take 